do know that spin. Uh, sorry, I have an ad. Um, I do know that spin seventy kg fatty. I'm just going to call them. I'm going to say spin stick. Um, have improved a heap of a lot over the season, and mm. in recent scrims against questionable, they're actually beating them. So, oh really? And, and as well as they they beat uh Nunjas, the second seeded team. In their oh, official, so it looks like they've been scrimming prem teams, and I'm expecting a really close game. Yeah, so they are going live. So good luck to both teams, and uh, take me into the mid days. All right, so um, I'm I am interested in the lineup. Questionable are running here. I'm going to see how it works out. But it looks like we have JD going under. He's actually going to get caught up by Sean. He's going to be the first death. Ray's is very low HP under the point right now. Seraph tries to get onto Decap, but only hits one rocket. And Decap's going to be able to get away from him. Spades walking across the point, doing really good damage to the scout. He's actually going to pick him up. And the med goes down. And now it's just the demo and scout. Oh, Ray's actually picking up the kill, but Kiz my H is very low. He's going to escape with his life. Um, and red team are gonna have full Uber because red medic did not go down. And I am being told we have a radio cast right now. Yeah, I was just about to say, so radio cast. Uh, Alright, so we have JD actually waiting for a high bomb off the wall here. Actually, he doesn't go for the high bomb, he just goes straight for the medic. He actually Ooh. drops Essen. That was really nice timing from JD. Yeah, was, all of his players really were just nice kind of stuck in choke there and uh, they couldn't really do yeah. anything to stop it. Um, I'm not quite sure why Beep's on Sniper here. They had full ad when he sport he decided to come up Sniper. So maybe a bit of miscommunication there, or I'm not too sure. I think he was Sniper from the, the start of the first mid, which is a bit debatable. Was he? Okay. Yeah. Well, it looks like actually Seraph and Killing are going to go try and contest here, but they're going to get shot down. Now they have a two player ad um, and Captain is Sing, but they do have a. At this point, but they do have a 50% Uber disad, which means Essence, yeah, will have to hold it a little bit further back than he, he would have wanted to, obviously, because he would have had uh, full Uber if JD hadn't had that nice jump. Um, Sean is going to go forward. Uh, I believe Sean is Roma, because I think Spade's on pocket. So Sean's going forward here, trying to get him in a position where he can kill the medic. He's found like a bunch of players here. He's going to go down. He trades a little bit of damage, but it's not going to be enough. Blue team are going to start to move out with this ad. They've done a really early pop to get out of those sticky sightlines. Well, not sightlines, but radius. Um, and they've really accomplished nothing. In fact, Jono's just running here and fragged Miramu um, post Uber. So Red actually are in a really strong position, but they're taking a lot of damage. So perhaps they should just consolidate, reheal up, get their players, and push in with this full ad. Yeah, it was really unfortunate for Questionable there because like they kind of couldn't do much to get through choke just because of how strong a position uh, Spin's team actually had there. So they couldn't really do anything with the fact that they cracked the mad. Yeah. So. But that said, so they have like... full ad now. I mean, eighty percent ad right now. But yeah, they actually you know... Spin's actually forward holding here. So. Um, we'll see how this plays out. They are going river, so actually they're going to avoid everything, but. The blue team are going to go back to last, and they're 50%, so red team can stall for a bit longer, but, you know, there's no real reason to. They just need to get yeah, it and go, which is what they're doing. They've done their double soldier Ubu here. Spade's actually going to get demolished. I'm not sure what Sean is doing. He should have been with the Spade there. Because now, Raze just has to deal with uh, one soldier at a time, which is easy when he has a meal beam. A heal beam. <laughs> meal beam. Um, and, uh, decaps and Essence to go back out in river. So I feel like that push failed because of the lack of coordination to focus the heavy there. But uh, yeah. what, about, what are your thoughts? He was just allowed to mince the soldiers as they jumped in, even though they did have Uber on them briefly. So yeah. not really much could be achieved. So it looks like we're going to have a leapfrog situation here. Um, yeah. And they're going to Uber really, really early. Wow, okay. Essence is going to get it without, out with this easily keep all their players up and it's just going to be yet another leapfrog into mid hopefully yeah. red team can do a little bit more maybe they might decide to go big door um yeah so i mean look going mid you know, is like the now. one where if you don't yeah. play it right as you push in you're gonna lose whatever you yeah have. there's oh, so many ways you so. can like drop but actually jd's behind he's been spotted out by spade so you're not gonna be able to do much really so now that they know he's behind um he's just they gonna be zoned out do they? Yeah, they did. Oh, oh wow, okay, so Meru goes down, and JD will have to go for the mid play here, otherwise they're going to be in a really strong position. 
Um, looks like Scout's going to fight JD on the flank there. Oh, John, a really nice aim to take him down. And they've worked themselves a two player out, or one player out, and an Uber out. So it's a really strong position to take the first round here, questionable. Yeah. I mean, if I was in their shoes, I'd probably be sort of posturing forward, trying to take lobby, making yeah. sure that you got that ground, and then just. I mean, they're on 80%. Zero you know, there's only got 20. Can just, yeah. You know, take that ground. The one thing I have, because um, my team has scrimmed. Uh, Spin's team in the past, and the one thing that's very noticeable with Kiz My Hedge's play is that he's a very flank centric demo. Um, he, he plays a lot on the, on the flank and he tries to be really aggressive on the flank. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, depending oh, yeah. on how well the other team adjusts. And it looks like they adjusted perfectly there because they were able to just walk into the combo with no ski trap resistance. And just launch yeah. their players for that. They sort chance. of spotted the demo man trying to peek yeah. in the river, get some damage off, and just went, okay. And just went double scout straight through shutter, just minced the heavy before he could even do anything about it. Yeah, and that's just the clinical uber last push there. I don't think they even lost one person. No, but on this next mid, JD's gone under. Beep's gonna get the first round onto the demo. JD's gonna pressure in, him in big door right now. Beep should be a, a dead gamer right now, as he is. But Raze and JD are both behind. Raze is on very low HP, and Red Team have just taken complete positioning. Mirumu is out, but with no one, but it looks like he'll get out in time. Well, they still have two players stuck behind, so... Yeah, you know, so Red Team can just push to, straight in. Yeah, yeah but they, they need to keep a tab on these players, of course, because both of them are very, very, um, consistent Capable. players with their aim. Yeah. So... You know, JD's going in for the sack, he's actually he's dying there, he didn't die. Raze, much. Raze is going to do the smart thing here and just get out lower lower back to his medic and it looks yeah. like they're going to try forward hold this because they are... No, no, they've backed out now. Okay, I mean, so if questionable can... smart, they should know they have ad and player yeah. right now. If they can push yeah, right now. totally. They need to do the same Ubers last time because I think by the time they got to river it would be too late. Mm. Uh, they're not they're not working yeah. off this and it looks like Blue's gonna get the Uber. To be fair, they wouldn't have known that uh Mirimu managed to get away but like didn't have anyone with him, so they would have thought that he probably had a Yeah. So we're just so, back to a pretty standard stalemate. Yeah, it looks like we'll probably see like a sack in from questionable actually, yeah. Beep will probably sack for Sniper or maybe Sean will and then Beep will Oh, jono has gone in, never mind. <laughs> Ooh, um, spy playing incoming? Spy? Or a spy? Oh, a Jono spy. I hope so. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, we see the Jono spy. That's an amazing. Oh, actually, okay. So, counter set coming in there from God knows who, and uh, he's not going to get anything done. That's spin, isn't it? I, I don't, don't even know. know. Yeah. I, I guess you just, I guess he's scout. And the other I'm scouts uh, raise. So. I'm not going to embarrass myself and friend tend to uh, know how to read Chinese. <laughs> so that Japanese? Up on I don't know. Right now. Curious to see what he can do. We actually have a uh, yeah, we have a counter sniper on beep, so it's gonna be a showdown. Both these snipers pretty pretty good. Uh, beep's gonna peek where the sniper was last. He uh, shoots but misses, and Raze is gonna be able to stay alive there. Um, looks like beep's going under to try and get an angle, perhaps on a medic that's holding left. He's actually gonna see the sniper. He doesn't hit the shot, and Jono dies as well. Beep should probably not take the jewel while his scout's down, uh, down and that seems to be what happening. But like I said earlier, um, here's my H, a very aggressive player, um, and gets you know gets punished for it right there. Not sure where he died, but I can almost guarantee he was quite far forward. I think he must have peeked into shutter or something because decap got fragment stiggies. So yeah, it's so oh, a speaking of decap. Yeah. Out. Okay, so that's a little bit of miscommunication questionable there, whether to hold close or far back. I'm not sure why far back when they kiss, uh, kiss down, but like there's an uber trade in lobby here. Neither team really winning. Post uber, space very low, but you have a couple blue lit players. Sean's in river here, not sure if he'll get out. He's actually going to go for the bomb. He only gets one rocket in. Um, but red cleanup's coming in. But JD's in river, he's going to jump. He's got a really nice line onto the medic. Hits two rockets but can't get the third and Spade's gonna clean him up. And that's gonna be three down for blue, so red can push in. But I don't know. I think they might just need to heal up a bit before they do anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're coming Spawn's in. Coming this, in. Is, this is good. Ooh. Raze is almost out, you've gotta kill him. And you've got to have players setting point, yeah. Spade's doing the right thing here. 
Um, is the demo up? No. Oh, you know, he is. Yes, yes, that's really he nice. Can. That was a really nice decal. I didn't see him, but like, he was doing exactly what he should. Yeah, um, he making was like sure spamming that... the point, and then he just cleaned yeah. up two dudes with double middies. Yeah, so, again, like, you know, really well done from Decap. A little bit sloppy um, in the initial push, but they got themselves together. Um, I think mm. they could have avoided a death and killed the heavy outright, but, you know, they got it done, so on to the next mid here. And Jono's actually going to pick off spin. Yeah, and it's a Sarah. questionable. Wow, that's actually a taking... really nice mid from Jono. Yeah, a Razor's yeah. going to trade him. And um, I can't even tell he's winning. I guess Red's winning. <laughs> Yeah, it looked like Questionable Both actually mids. took their side on that mid um, and used it really effectively. The scout got two frags really early. Basically, yeah, that was just a really nice play from Jono. Forcing them out of mid. Like, there's nothing they can do. Jono's Prem Brain. <laughs> looks like Spin's gonna come in aggressive on River here. He could actually die if the stick is there, but it looks like he'll squeeze out as Sean and. Deep start capping second. Shaw's actually going for an aggressive bomb onto Miramu here. Not a bad play considering the Uzer either. Yeah. And he actually gets out with half of his HP. So, Beef's capping. The post cat's capping. They're going to get the second. It's going to be Uber, uh, equal Ubers. So, we'll see how uh, each team play this. Looks like Blue want to set up a forward hold and. Well, that's on the zone right down. now. <laughs> oh, they did. Ah, oh, he gets traded for. Yeah, Kiss holding shot of here. Um, Needs to be careful that no one sneaks in from lower lower. Looks like his stick is on it now. Um, and I guess it's just a reset until they get the swarms and whatnot. But he'd probably come up sniper, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, yeah. Yeah, not much to say really. Yep, beeps on sniper. Um, well, I guess in this, actually no downtime, I was about to say. Oh, is that a pause? Yeah, it looks like a pause. I think that would be after a round, but we don't know. Alright, well, um, in this, in this pause, I guess I'll, uh, like, talk about some things we missed because of a quick intro there, but, um, questionable throughout the season seem to have been mixing up their roster quite often, um, and it looks like they've worked out their strongest roster, um, which is to put Decap on demo. Actually, I think Decap's a transfer. I think because uh, mid-season or so, because Decap was on Noeski at, one, at the start of the season, uh, mm -hmm. which is the one of the prem teams um, in North Fortress right now. So it looks like he's transferred onto this team, um, and he's on demo. So he's a pretty strong demo. Um, Jono, I believe, is a sub, but uh, you know he's a very smart player, been playing forever, and. Um, and his good aim, so. pretty good too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, as we've seen. So he's on scout. Um, Sean has been on the team all season. He was one of the first with Zildjian, I believe. Speaking of Zildjian, he's not playing tonight. Not sure why. Um, so it looks like Sean's on Roma. Um, interesting. M most interesting to me is Spade's transition from scout to to soldier because last season he played prem scout. Um, and he started the season as a scout, and he's a pretty solid scout, you know, he's got really good aim. But he's gone into Pocket Soldier, and he's a, he's a pretty good Pocket Soldier as well, but it's just, you know, it's quite interesting and to see I, that his transition. His playtime style, sorry, seems to be the sort of just like eat heals and then just stand somewhere where he can do damage, and it really works very effectively for him. Yeah, he's a massive part of this team, I think, um, especially mm. his calling, his vocal player, um, his good understanding from what I've played with him um and i'm yeah he'll probably be a high impact player in this in this game and the rest of the season assuming they uh make it through um yeah and essence has been made all season so not much to talk about there but yeah so it's a you know it's an interesting um bunch you know they've mixed up their rosters throughout the season some have worked some haven't um and the lack of zildjian as well as i mentioned zildjian was the i believe founder of the team like he started it um he got all the players together um and he's the usual roma from this team I'm not sure where he is right now but he's also had some prem experience so we'll see if that makes mm. a difference but i don't they seem to be doing pretty well without him yeah, um, just notably this is the best of three so we're on gully now um the next one's gonna be snake and then glenn yeah. is the decider yeah um Interesting to see uh, what they like. 
you know, weak and weak maps and whatnot for each team is. I since they the uh, questionable's first seed, do they get the first pick or is that how it works? I'm not sure. Uh, I'll be honest. I do we I know really the look. map picks? Okay, that's fine. Um, on the other side of the board here, though, uh, we have Spin Spin's team. So we're guessing that the um, Asian number uh, Asian letter guy is Spin. Um, and then we have Raze on scale. Raze, I believe, wasn't um, core from the beginning, maybe one week or two. Um, but looks like he's, you know, gelled into that core spot. And he's a very strong DM player, and he's, um, you know, made a lot of progress this season. Uh, and the whole team, in fact, has made a lot of progress this season. We have uh, Saraf, Sarah, I guess. Um, I got, uh, I believe, got best pocket and open. He's on pocket for Spin's team. Um, we have JD on Roma, another player who's really made a lot of progress this season. And as we've seen, he's made a really high impact play with really good timing on that bomb earlier. Um, Killing on Demo. Um, he's known for uh, not talking in pugs, I guess. <laughs> yeah, um, has he done a microphone yet? Like, uh, Yeah, I believe he do. He does uh, talk in, in games, unlike um, TL9 Johnny. But um, <laughs> Yeah, so... As a team, it's uh, and of course, um, Miramu, my boy Miramu on medic, uh, shout out to him. Um, but as a team, like they came in like mid seed, like mid seed, you know, like fifth, sixth, I believe, and they've worked themselves to be second seed going into playoffs, like second place going into playoffs. So it's been like great to see this team really put in the effort to improve. Um, and I believe they've even been contesting like the lower prem teams, from what I've heard from mem uh, players on their team. So, like on paper, it might seem like questionable or the stronger team here, but in recent scrims, you know, I believe um, you know Spin's team has actually taken a couple wins. Um, so it, it could it could really go either way in this series. I I believe, um, yeah. and I'm really keen to see how how it ends and also the future of spin in this season you know maybe they might even be able to take take the championship wins so that'll be an insane you know that'll be an insane improvement statement to make um i mean i know that they were scrimming prem teams pretty much from the start uh yeah. as far as i was aware someone was talking about how they were scrimming them on like a, a weekly basis so i mean yeah. obviously the best way to improve is to play against better players so they were trying hard from the beginning, you know? Yeah. I believe they've actually beaten one of the Prem teams. Um, I don't remember who, but, you know, it's interesting to see. But I think Questionable will have as well. So, you like, think, you know, there's just so close between, like, a lower Prem and an upper IM. So, you know, like, um, it's, you know, like I said, it could go either way. Yeah. Um, and I'm really excited to see how it turns out. Oh, and along with questionable beep, uh, forgot about him. Yeah, he's been on scout, I believe, all season. Pretty solid aim. Yeah. Um, Pretty weird dude, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Actually, speaking of beep, um, he's in big jaw right now, and he's got a line of sight on both uh, spin and... JD. I'm not sure if they know he's there. I don't think JD does. Spin might. Um, but it'll be interesting to see who he chooses to go for and whether or not he can hit the shot. I think either way he'll probably die because if he kills one, the other one will start to rush him. But, you know, <laughs> he's uh, in a little bit of a predicament right now. So that'll be interesting to see. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> not sure what else to talk about. <laughs> yeah, I'm sort of running out of topics here. Yeah, uh, uh we can just... talk about the, the state of intermediate as a whole, like, uh, yeah. with regards to the, uh, the leaderboard at the moment. Yeah, so, from what I've heard, it's been really close, you know, all the top five teams have been 
contesting each other quite well. Um, it could go either way a lot of the time. So I that's mean, really good to see. The scorelines definitely show that. So I don't know if you've got uh, this up on the screen. Apparently, it's up on the stream. So we've got just got the. Uh, yeah, see that. Yeah. So I mean, questionable obviously has the most points at twenty two. Uh, with 11 wins, but 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th, all 18 points, you know, most of them, yeah, they're all 5 losses, uh, only some minor differences in win count, so it's impressively close there. Oh yeah, um, and like, like, going into the season, it was like, assumed that Questionable would probably, well, Questionable would take 1st place, Nonjas in 2nd, and then the rest of them pretty far behind, but it's great to see, you know, Questionable now being um, rivaled, you know, like contested for that first place and, you know, the you know the top three, top four, whatever, you know, all being, like, really close. Yeah. Um, I've received word that apparently Killing is offline and Spin Mission has muted himself in Mumbles, so it seems like they're having a little bit of team issues as well. As uh, I believe technical issues yeah. um, that I received from our Mr. Mitchcliff. Yeah, um, <laughs> not quite sure. Well, uh, I guess while we got the time, I'll uh, I'll step off for a moment. So if you just want to carry this one on your back for a minute. All right. Um. Oh, okay. So let's let's have a look at the uh, player positions, shall we? So we've gone over that with the beep and the spin and the JD situation. JD's fire rocket straight at uh, Decap's foot, but it doesn't look like that'll do much to him. I guess R34 Sean will be the next heal target of Essence. Spam currently mid-air as he jumps river, and he'll meet a 176 HP Seraph and a 148 HP raise, assuming raise turns around and uh, probably jump right out when he sees those two, unless he gets insane damage, which, you know, is possible. And then we have Kizmai H and Mirumu holding in lobby. Um, pretty standard, nothing much about it. Uh, Kizmai H looking to peak Shudder, I'd say, as his, the rest of his team starts to push forward. I assume to take a trade or make space for maybe a JD bomb. Um, but as for oh, actually, never mind. Okay, finally, we've unpaused here. Sean actually gonna go back get the HP pack, um, health pack. Yeah, Spade's gonna divert, divert his jump back to his medic. Sean straight in gets a really nice force onto Miramu. Blue is taking a lot of space here, but with no Uber, red team can refight this um, and do stuff. But uh, they're not going to, and blue team are actually forcing them out of mid. Do they use Uber? My HUD's broken, so I can't tell. I know red did, but other than that, I don't see any reason for for red not to fight that. Like, yeah, they've used Uber now. What they're gonna? Oh my god! Okay, if they let him get this cap, that's gonna be disastrous. Thank God they don't. I don't know what went on there. They literally not only backed out of second, but backed out of mid. Um, and that's they're gonna come back and contest mid miraculously, win that fight, and uh, so that just happened. Okay. Um, looks like they're gonna cap second up here. Uh, my health's still broken, so take me a while to find Ubers. Um, 62 on Essence, and 27 on Miramu. So it looks like we have ads still here coming in for Red Team, and it looks like the reason for that pause was killing Tiny yeah. But uh, everyone's back, as we can tell. Um, 
And it looks like red team are gonna come in shot here. All six of their players. Oh wow, all oh, oh, five. I don't know where Sean is. Um, but they've Ubered in here last. They're getting their frags, forcing players off point. All of blue are hurt right now. Looks like there's gonna be a massive cleanup from the soldiers. And red are just gonna cap. And that'll be the third third round to the red. Zero for blue. So, um, you know, pretty dominating start coming out from, from red here. Um, especially considering past results between the two. Um, let's see if that can continue for questionable or if uh, Spin can take it back here. Um, killing really aggressive. Oh my god, he's gonna get surely fragged by Jono right now, surely. Yeah, he will, and red team are taking a lot of positioning. Blue is almost completely forced out. In fact, there's a duel between Beep and JD right now. Beep actually... Oh, I said... <laughs> There's a nice crossbow onto JD that has saved Beep's life, although I'm sure Beep probably would have hit that shot regardless. Um, and looks like uh, Red will take this next mid as well. Beep's still on Sniper. I don't think I, don't, I think he's played a lot more Sniper than uh, Scout this um, time, this this map. And actually, it looks like Essence adapting there, um, delaying for the high bomb from JD. It's very nice to see. Um, and Red are gonna take this second for free, I guess. Um, and I'm, I'll have to check the Ubers again. So Red are have their Uber right now. What's Miramu on? Miramu has his Uber as well. So we'll see how they play this. They could forward hold. Well, they, yeah, it looks like they're forward holding. Jono actually getting past through Val, but not acting to go on to last. And they're gonna take a trade here on Staircase right now. Um, two pockets going at it right now. Uh, Jono actually gets caught out by JD. Unfortunate there. But, you know, it's... It's, uh, the trade's over, uh, not much harm done, only Jono going down, Ray's actually in lower lower, he's gonna back out right now, but Blue actually pushing out and Beep hits a nice headshot onto Miramu, Seraph way up in the air, no one can hit the air shot, but Blue are getting frags here again, and it looks like Red are gonna keep second, have full add, and full play rag, so they're gonna come straight into last right now, JD is hiding in Revel, he's not gonna get much done, surely, um, Heavy's gonna be taken out, that's a, like, a wipe, and blue team can't do anything about it, that's the fourth round, four questionable, and uh, still yet to see a response from uh, Spin's team. So, coming into this next mid here, as a Snidely is still AFK. Um, red team is gonna play their side, right side. Um, get straight onto killing. Seraph's gonna take some initiative and jump onto the combo here. Does good de good damage and takes a lot of itself. Trey's being fragged all over the place right now. Decap hitting some pipes onto JD and Ray. Um, John are actually gonna clean up JD. Uh, and Sean gonna clean up Ray. And it's gonna be a red mid. Both meds survive. Hello, uh, by the way. Apparently, Mirimu. Mumble wasn't letting me talk. Oh, okay. Hello. Yeah. Um, looks like Mirimu has 50% Uber ad because he wasn't healing. So, if Red go ultra fast, they can catch him out here, but I doubt they will. Um, and so, they're just capping second now. JD's really low, but so is Sean. Sean's going to get out, but can JD? He gets the pack, so he should be okay. But uh, Mirimu is actually quite far forward here for not having Uber, although he's on he's on 80, so... Actually, they're doing really good play here. JD, they're going straight into the last. Mirimu might There's not no have Uber, so 90% on Mirimu, they need to get onto him right now. He's about, oh, he's gonna have Uber of 12 HP, he's about to get Uber, that's... Oh, no, he goes down! I don't know if he's drop on 99%. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that's gonna be the 5-0 for the red oh, team on Gullet Wash. So that's... Oh, that's unfortunate, you know, 98%, 12 HP, almost survives long enough to get it. I don't think um, Blue did a good enough job there of grinding. I don't agree with the forward hold they had. They definitely should have consolidated, set up last defenses, heavy pyro and whatnot, and just grinded that uber out rather than trying to forward hold and not have, you know, anyone to help with mirror. Yeah, um, I mean... Spin has apparently left the server and post that one. And uh, JD's just said in chat that uh, he's cut. So. I'll uh, resist believing that, but. 
Let's see what happens. Um, take this away for a while because I'll be gone for a bit. Yeah, all good. So, obviously, solid 5 0 coming out of questionable. Can't say I didn't especially expect it. Pardon me. But uh, we're just getting the logs up. And I'll just get them up myself. So, obviously, some pretty large stats coming out here. Decap and Spade, really big on the damage stats. 399 and 347 DPM, respectively. Killing coming in not too far behind at 325, but Jono on 317. Uh, Jono, obviously, with the most frags in the game as well at 20. The next closest being Spade on 17. Um, you know... It really kind of shows the sort of dominance the decap and spade are sort of plonking into the game. The combo seems really strong, just able to sort of walk in and do the damage that they need to do uh, and end up on the top end of pretty much every fight. Uh, not much to say other than that. Um, some pretty lackluster stats coming out of Ray's, but I know that he's better than that, so I'm guessing it was just an off map for him. Considering Questionable did pick this map, yeah, they did. They did pick this map. So maybe, you know, he just doesn't really like this map. Um, not much to say otherwise. Heal percentages are about what you'd expect. Uh, Spade actually taken 38%. That's a little high in my opinion, but that's just me anyway. Uh, we're just sort of, you know, pretty standard sort of gameplay. Miru only actually getting out five Ubers in that whole map, apparently. So, I'm guessing... I mean, yeah, he, he was kind of dying a lot uh, in inopportune moments, but mostly just because they were losing in actual team fights, which goes back to what I was saying about the combo just sort of being a bit stronger. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know, just sort of... Cruising through on that one. Let's, uh, let's, Back. let's have a quick look at the damage taken a minute. Killing and Seraph are actually right up the top on that one. With a bit more than Spade taking. Seraph obviously should be a bit of a damage sponge as a pocket. Same as Spade. But uh, Killing taking a lot. I guess that sort of points towards his sort of flank heavy playstyle. Sort of getting caught out a bit more. Um, yeah, I mean, not much more to really talk about. Essence dying the least in the entire server, despite one of his deaths being a drop. So that's a that's a fifty percent drop to death ratio. Well. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> what I come back to? Uh, I don't actually have logs right now, but I'll look for them. Uh, you can get them the right on logs.tf, yeah. We had him up on the stream. But yeah, we're just going into the second map here. Snake Order. One of my personal wow. least favourite maps. Wow, that's really awesome. I mean, they did 5-0, but, you know, Essence only dying twice. That's really, really good, you know. He had a rocky start with that first um, death being a drop, but, you know, brought it back. Next, actually, yeah, next five entirely. rounds didn't only died once, so really well done by him. Um, um, it actually looks like Bunnies is coming into the server rather than Spin on this next map, so <laughs> maybe there's a bit of hard. truth. But uh, have you got any predictions for this map now that we've seen the first one? Teams well, are I can up. tell you right now, I think Spin's team is having a massive problem with uh, communication because, you know, Spin's... From what we know, rage quit, um, and they got five owed, which was completely unexpected to me. You know, um, from what I've seen, you know, they really improved. You know, they seem to be taking taking games off um, the top teams, some pro low prem teams, and then to get you know five owed, it's a really big turnaround. And you know, I think honestly, questionable played really well. And I don't think Spin's team should get too upset about that. I don't. I think 
if you were to ask me, I think their success leading up to this t- tonight, pro- they might have gotten a bit complacent. Um, and I, because like I don't really know what else to put it down to, to having a player leave after the first map when you got five would Um, so like yeah, like it was just an unexpected score in my books, but. I think Squashable sat down and said, right, what's our best roster? They worked it out, um, and they trained with it, scrimmed with it, and it's really paid off because that was a really dominating first map. So I'll be interested to see how this next map goes. If it spins pick, spins team's pick, could be different. Maybe they're just a weak gully wash team. Um, I'm not sure how either of them do on any map, so I'm just going to have to see how it goes but i'm gonna give it to a questionable given the yeah. state of the teams right now but i'm gonna yeah. say five two to questionable okay i mean i'm actually gonna as much as i'm uh more of a questionable fanboy i've got more people that i actually play with on that team i think i'm actually gonna say that i'm gonna throw this towards uh, it's been 70 kilo, whatever. Um, just because, like, I mean, they did pick this map, so obviously this is the one that they thought would be better for them. They only got one pick in this game. So, sorry, I've run out of breath. I had to run and grab a towel. <laughs> so, Sweating you know, too hard. <laughs> no, they're all on the balcony. And, uh, girlfriends and shit. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think that Obviously, this is going to be the map that they think they're better on, or even best on, seeing as this is the upper page playoffs. If they can win this, then that's really ideal for them, so they'd want to go for the best map they can. And also, I think, you know, Bunnies is a pretty decent gamer, but he's a very calming presence as well, which is yeah. really good if uh, if your mumble's a bit, like, you know, messed up. Yeah, so, should we assume it is? Very oh, seasoned although... player as well, so I'll know what he's doing. He's actually dropped out of the server. I think someone else might be connecting. Well, I did hear originally that they were getting Adden in, which seems to yeah. be their preferred pick. So it looks like Adden's come in regardless. I think Bunnies was like a a quick cover for Adden not being there to cover Spin. <laughs> but yeah. it looks like Adden's come online and he's logged into the server. Um, so, I mean, I'm still going to put it towards Questionable, but I think it'll be close. I think it'll end up being like a 3-2 or something. Uh, not questionable, sorry, spin. spin. Yeah, I think it'll be like a 3-2 to spin on this one. Yeah, okay. Um, I, I'm not too familiar with Adam. Uh, I know that he played a season of Prem, I think, two seasons ago. Uh, he's played I, a couple seasons in Div 3. He was a pretty decent gamer, like, ages ago. Alright, I think... Yeah, I think he's a pretty solid player, so we'll see how he plays. Anyway, on the mid, Seraph going down nice and early, Jono dying to killing. Nice pipe uh, there, it looks like on the half HP, JD with a big plan. Yeah. Big Dominance seems to be going to questionable here. Remember <laughs> looking like he's going to get out, killing really Sean low. Sean walking forward on like 2 <laughs> HP Sean. there, misses his rocket. Yeah, Sean <laughs> just like walked forward on 5 HP, he's like, I don't even care. But he misses his rocket and killing doesn't miss his pipe. Ooh. So, uh, red team gonna come out on top at mid. Uh, they do have a bit of add, but I doubt they'll push off it. D- uh, Decap's really low right, right now, actually, in the bottom. He's gonna get out, which is really good, because he didn't want. You don't want him going down there. Blue team can push off that once they get the Uber. If he did, um, and it looks like we're gonna have somewhat of a stalemate here. Actually, Spade's getting pretty aggressive, backing off. I'd expect a sack in from red here for a sniper from beef or so, and maybe yeah. someone on blue coming up sniper. But that makes perfect sense, really. Yeah, I mean, pretty textbook, nothing too special, even if it's good old snake water last stalemate. Um, yeah, red yeah. on sniper, he's um, forward on left side here. I'm gonna try and get an angle, decap might actually get caught out. Spade is the one to get caught out here, actually. Ooh, Ooh race and decap, decap as well, that's really nice, you know, two shots, two kills. On really important classes right now, so blue team are definitely gonna come push off this. Yeah, Essence um, played it really safe though. He was basically already in sore by the time that 
hit decap died. Like I guess he just saw it coming. <laughs> and uh so back off. I guess we're just kind of a mid a mid hold here for impressionable. Still even Ubers, no no Ubers are traded. Um Raze has gone back onto scout. Uh and I guess we'll probably in this situation better for a Roma sack. So that's what I'd expect to see, but a couple of blue players, uh, red players going down pretty low. Um, if they're going to sack, I'd expect a soldier sack maybe out window around onto Miramu. It um, looks like they're getting ready to sort of cycle Ubers oh, here. Actually, yeah, yeah, they yeah. are. So the trade comes out. Um, better Uber for red here because blue did flash, but we are going to back off here. Yeah, they lost the um, merger in that Uber as well. Beep trace JD, actually Raze goes down as well. And Spade yeah, Sarah Sarah. Died. Those are really nice prey kills there from Red. The flank is actually on the second point, and there's not much killing to do other than back out. Um, so that's exactly what he's going to do. And blue team, or red, yeah, red team with a really nice, you know, a, uh, even Uber, well, no Uber push there after getting some nice picks from nice spam and whatnot. Um, but looks like blue's bring out their heavy, and they got a sniper back left. Um, red team has a little bit of add, not too much though. I mean, not enough snake last is really. pretty easy to hold one, just because yeah. of the distance that people have to cover on yeah. the open ground. So I think it's possible that they could hold this again and sort of put them off. Yeah, I'd expect but... to. I'd expect um, beat to sack in for sniper here. Yeah, as Ubers are readied up from both medics. Yeah, beasts actually. Did he even sack in? He, no, I think he went back. Yeah, Jono he got the spawn and then Jono spawned, I believe. Ray is actually getting decapped Ray. again. So Ray is doing a lot of work here. We'll see how Beak can compare. He's going to be holding what's in the chike sight line. He misses the headshot to kill him, but brings down pretty low. Killing way too far forward there on half HP. And he's going to get caught down. Caught out. It looks like they want to cycle Ubers again, yeah. Yeah, so Ubers come out here. Um, Jono's going to leave. Beep's still holding a sight line. Seraph could jump him, but he chooses not to. Actually, yeah. They're jumping him now, double sword. He goes through it too late. JD not, yeah. Yeah, JD not committing fully there, and um, looks like Red Team is just picking off player, players right now. Really oh. nice shot from Beep there onto JD. And actually, it's just killing up, he's a spawner. Yeah, Red and Team they just gonna have, have to go a really in. big ad. They just, yeah, they can go straight in 5 seconds minimum until the next one's in. Just kill killing or occupy him and get all. Oh, he's going sky high. Did anyone hit it? No one hits it. Um, and. He gave him enough time to get spawns. Oh, this is looking really close. There's so much, there's so much damage here. Okay. Nah, they played that well. When they stopped, they got pyro stopped. They backed off and just you know spammed from all directions. They're and looking more coordinated, but there are still a couple little yeah. mistakes sort of coming through on the side like, of spin steam. Like, gives me dying there in that push it was like really big throwaway, you know, of a, yeah. of a demo ad. And JD um, not he, committing with his other soldier there as well. Just looked like a bit yeah. of an error, but not too bad. Like, you know, um, Kiz pushed like a completely different direction from his combo. Yeah. And kept walking forward after going down half HP, but into the mid. Um, Raze and JD getting the first frag. Speed trades for uh, JD, but Blue have positioning right now. Really nice jump from Sarah from getting a yeah, huge Essence amount of damage. Yeah, super off. low. And Red is going to have to cough completely. Red medic goes down. Blue does, Blue's doesn't. Spade's gonna go in here, almost get them in. Brings him down to 65, but he's yeah. gonna stay alive. So, Blue are but now in a really strong position to even this up. Blue has forgotten to cap the point, so they're not getting forwards. <laughs> Ray's finally coming back for it now. So, yeah, I guess they're gonna forward spawn off that up. and then just cap two. Yeah, so it looks like Sentry's going up in the little inlet there next to the point. Sean sitting on heavy on top of the point and beat actually quite forward on sniper on right hand or left depending on the way you look at it. Um, let's see if he can get a pick. I would expect him to die here because he has no one near him. Actually he does back off so it looks like he'll survive right now. Looks Their like they're gonna try to it safe left. though. They came through lower into lobby like rather than just walking yeah. straight into lobby. Actually oh, here really Uber out here. Killing gets juggled so you know, um, Sentry getting the frag and holding off the U bar. This is really bad for blue. Scale on point though. Ray's can't quite finish up the heavy here. Seraph's on, on uh, big box. He gets taken out. Just mirror move. That was a disaster. In fact, yeah. Decap's gonna commit for the Medicus here. He's gonna hit the thing and not be able to complete his jump. But I think I was gonna might keep go going for the back cap. Oh, she gets the medic. That's massive. Oh, and I think that could have been preventable if, if Mirror had jumped 
around the box rather than like the left side of it rather than you know the other side <laughs> um but looks like seraph's on top here trying to get on top of the combo but actually adam's on spy he's right behind the medic here he's dash dropping yeah there he goes drops that's a massive shame not much he can do about that but they get three down in return or two two frags at that point so blue head's gonna have to back up regardless they're gonna get this mid but yeah, but really nice Miramu, he's gonna have around about a 30 to 40 ad here. Looks like 30. So that's gonna be pretty good for him. I'd be really pleased to see red um, arrow right here. Yeah. Beep super fucking low. Sorry, family show. Um, Beep really <laughs> low. Um, he managed to get out by the skin of his tape. Actually, Miramu goes down to a Sean bomb. So that's oh, huge. Dear, mate. That's gonna Did be he come from under? under? Well, I wasn't even watching. I was watching Beep's escape route. It looks yeah. like Red's gonna put it, push in here. I don't really agree with that. I mean, it could work, but the safer play would be to just wait till Uber at. Because Red is throwing everyone in the kitchen sink at their medic. He's going down so low. The scouts can't kill Red. They just kill him before I said start. That was close. Killing's gonna do what he can, but he's gonna get forced back here by Jono. Nice zoning from Jono. Essen's gonna pick up the pack, and that's gonna be 75 out in a second, a free second. Well, not really a free second. Um, it's gonna be, you know, ready sitting in a good position here to take a second round. <laughs> yeah, that was interesting um, to push there. It's really risky if you don't have Uber. Um, because, you know, they can just come in from all different angles over the fence, over the shack. Scouts can rush from point, so... And that's exactly what they did. They were just unfortunate um, not to hit their shots when they needed to. Yeah. But then, Red's gonna come in pretty early Uber from left here. Not sure if I agree with the left push, but if they can make it work... They just need to send heavy players forward to combat the combo and just have the speed to scout the cap. Decat's doing a nice job of sitting on the top here. He's just like, the, he has so much room to make, but he's not really making too much of an impact. In fact, he's gonna get caught out. That's a nice defense for Blue. But, uh, Essence being chased by Raze here all the way back out to mid. I don't know if he'll get out. Looks like he will. Raze on Slither of HP and Saw here. Spade, Spade and Sean, he's gonna die, yeah, sure. Okay, so Raze dies there. Um, almost got the med, but, you know, just not enough. You know, just got, Essence just got out. That's gonna keep him, keep his team alive for this round, because otherwise, you know, they could've rolled it straight through to the last. And, looks like they're gonna back out, because they do have Disad here. Actually, Spade went really far forward. Sean was actually really deep, gets a really nice ball. And how did they pick up three kills there? I am absolutely dumbfounded how that works. But they yeah, made Miramu it work. got unlucky. Okay, I wasn't. I was more yeah. looking from like the red perspective of them just going forward with 40 disat, and they've wiped the whole team. Yeah. Rendered so their ad basically, completely ineffective. Blue team tried to come through kitchen, and they just got juggled by uh, a couple rockets and stickies, which sort of kept them all in one spot. And while Miramu was trying to heal his players back up, they got bombed. And he just, like, there was nothing he could do, he dropped everyone. There's really no nice to up. Yeah, it was really nice initiative to see a red push forward. They surge forward and just clean up three players before the UB even got popped. They brought this straight into last. Decap picking up two kills. Ray's about to go down. That'll surely, surely be spell the second round of the snake water map. <laughs> and, uh, John was the double go. basher kill. Did he actually? Wow. Yeah, he did. I mean, they were both really, really low. He was just sort of swinging wildly, but got real lucky on that. But, uh, yeah, so 2 0 up here with 12 minutes gone. 11 minutes I'm gone. I'm still sticking to my ear that uh, Spin can win this, I think. It seems a lot closer, to be honest. Just a couple of um, misplays, missed opportunities have led to questionable 2 0, but. You know, they're putting up a lot, much better effort here on the second map. They're going to pick off the first, get the first kill onto Jono. Spade's going to trade with JD. Sean goes down, so still one player out for blue here. They don't have as good positioning though. Killing jumping forward is on, like, a third HP. That's just, that's a lead in my opinion. Like, you, he wasn't even buffed and he jumped forward. One rocket and he's dead. And that's honestly, they can just fight this now because, you know, demo and scout versus two scouts, I mean, you know, like, easy damage for DCAP, yeah, and that's exactly what's going to happen, they're going to force him out, I really don't see the reason for Kiss My Hedge going forward there, jumping forward like that, he could have just walked.
and done the same thing yeah. and survived. I think it looked Burned like half player. of their team sort of went, oh, we should kill the med, and half of the team said, half the team said, uh, we'll sort of like play this normally because, uh, Kizmi and, uh, what was his name? I think Seraph. One of the soldiers sort of bombed onto the med a little bit. I see. Oh, actually, an Uber trade coming out here and saw. Sorry to. Yeah, yeah, no, you short, keep going. But, um, killing. Actually, gets dropped by Murumu. Uh, I'm not sure how that happened. Murumu seemed to be right next to him, but. He gets dropped. Demo out here. Sean's rook in D. Gets Miramu. That's an awesome. And the scout. That's an awesome bomb from Sean there. Adam's gone under. Not sure if anyone. Yeah, Johnny catches them out. That's going to be a full wipe. And unless they screw something up badly, a third round for questionable. That was a really nice timed bomb. For oh, massive mini. Killing on the out there. Looks like we have an ad demo MG situation. <laughs> scout's just mad. But as I was saying, that was a really nice timed bomb from Pause there. When the Ubers um, both faded, there was a scrappy fight coming in. He just jumps straight onto the medic, gets deep, gets the medic and the scout. A really high percentage play. So he honestly potentially won that round for questionable there. Because yeah. the, the frags just fell into place after that. Um, totally. But red team coming out to this next mid, they have much better position right now. But they're going to get forced that JD's going to counter bomb. And killing's being set sky high. Remember who goes down to a flank from Jono? That's really nice. But unfortunate again from the blue, you know, to lose your medic yet again. <laughs> One rocket. And gets uh, a kill and a splash for Beat to clean up on the other scout. So nice work from Spade there. And it's just, there's just so much more coordination coming in from Red Team here. Much more than I expect. Like, I expected it to be really close, but like, in terms of coordination, like, Essence isn't dying to a random scouts leaking behind at the start of mids, and it just needs to stop if if blue team want to contest this series. You know, they're three rounds down, two rounds, two round losses away from losing the the series. So there needs to be a change in coordination here if they want to bring this back. Because yeah, just things are leaking behind and not being called, and it's unfortunate to see. But actually, Essence gets forced by like one direct spam rocket. That's kind of unfortunate, um, and it's going to leave them at a massive player disc, but they're going to push forward with the faded uber anyway, and they're getting frags, like Beep is straight into the bling here. JD's going to fall down, Decap's just going to trap off the point, they're just going to stand on the point right now, because Mirumi wasn't able to get uber, and that's a fourth round, one round away from a questionable 5-0-5-0. Yeah, I mean, look, i got to be honest, I think... I think they can bring it back though. They're playing a bit tighter, like with each round. There's some still some misplays, but I think if they really, you know, get it together, get ahead in the game, to quote get the uh, head Zach Efron, you know, I think they could. I think they could drag you. Sean going pretty deep behind. He's down in the kitchen already now, actually. JD as well. Yeah, they don't even seem to see him. Miramu's super low. Sean. <laughs> Finally gets in there. So it's like the same thing that happened last time. They leak a player through kitchen and he just gets straight, like a straight line onto the medic. And so, they're gonna win the the point. But, but Essence got yeah. out with 85% yeah, exactly. right now, so. Actually, Veep and Jono gone really far forward, and Seraph had an opportunity to get straight onto Essence there, but he doesn't jump forward. He jumps forward now. Where are the oh. scouts? Oh, that's. That's Essence just, going down. That's just really poor play from the scouts there. Like, they got away with it once because Seraph didn't decide to to jump the medic there, even though he was wide open. But then they came back and left him again for I don't know what. And Seraph was like, right, I'm not gonna let this get away from me. He just gets on one rock onto Essence. Like, he like they needed a scout to stay with him there, as well as he didn't have, even have Uber, so there's no reason to leave him alone in the first place because they can heal and get Uber. Um, so that's Spade got behind a... them here, and none of them saw him. He got great damage from a mirror move. Oh my! Yeah, he got down. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, that's un that's just frustrating for Blue. I get they're all on they're... low HP as well. So it's unfortunate though because like they all came through that lower area where he was hiding, but they all sort of were too focused on you know, like eyes on the prize rather than like, keeping an eye on what could go wrong for them. So. I might be wrong though, I can't really see from much from the overview that was on there. 
Well, there's a 60% ad here for red. No reason to give up. I mean, no reason not to fight this second point. Actually, Seraph with a nice bomb, but an even nicer Seraph from Essence there. And they're gonna recap second. They're gonna have 60% ad to roll into mid here. And potentially just force them out, like just zone their players and not even get forced. But JD's holding close for the force here. Raze has gone into Saw for the, the wrap. He's gonna oh, meet Beep. We have a scout MGE going on. Beep is gonna win this one. JD's in, on, uh, in Saw. He's gonna get onto second. Sean's gonna come back for him, but it's gonna be interesting to see. Oh, really nice direct on the low ground there from Sean. JD's gonna kill him, but it's gonna be enough for Beep to come back and, and trade that frag. So, they, they are gonna... Actually, no, they did use Uber. I missed that. I missed their uh, use of Uber. But yeah, they're on they the used 45 to um, now. Kick, and I think JD managed to get onto them early because they all came through Kitchen very low. And uh, I okay. think Essence got forced. So, I mean, if Miramu's smart, Actually, I think if he yells at this point to go forward here. Yeah, they did. But they've, they've spades forced the Uber. But Killings walked forward and killed Jono and Decap here, so not... Oh, they have to yeah, chase Essence. Yeah, Scout's on Essence, yeah. yeah. Essence has ah. gone down. Sean's gonna go down. That's a full, full wipe. wipe. And an opportunity up. to take around here. Beep's gonna come up on NG. Not sure how much time he'll have. Wait, no, he's in forwards. <sighs> yeah, he's stuck in forwards. He managed to get back okay. to NG on last, but he's not gonna have time to build anything sort of with in. the speed that these guys are coming in. Yeah. He's sort of holding yeah, heavy back. Jono's on the right to no, They NG. left? Why did... Wait. Uh, wait. Yeah. Cause... Okay, so they left. Mirror I'm Mirror. guessing they're trying to build the ad, but instead what yeah. they're really going to end up doing is like giving them time to set up for the last. Yeah. At that time, if they kept pushing, they could have held that heavy right at spawn, they could have just walked straight on the point. I, I totally think it's going to be more difficult for them, but with the Uber ad, they could be able to pull this out. Because so. they had so much positioning on last day, they just needed to get reinforced by their other three players, and that, that could have been around. And that's, you know, that's we've seen questionable being in the position blue were in, and they've done the correct thing, gone straight in and taken the round. But now, you know, the is going to be level two. It's going to be taken out. Actually, oh, yeah, we it's along with it's beautiful. It. So, looks like blue are making this work, much to our surprise. They're going to take the round. Okay. Beautiful. So, yeah, no, that actually did work very well. They managed to focus players down rather yeah. than actually just yeah. fighting everything Definitely. fucking piecemeal. Sorry, family show. Um, Definitely. <laughs> I mean, yeah. if you are going to wait for the ad, you definitely need to make sure you know how to last properly. And, you know, they they did that there. You know, they fo focused really well. Kid, uh, Beep's sticking a little bit too far forward to his sentry, and he's going to go down with his ship. But, um... Well, uh, he's Captain Dangerous. <laughs> JD getting forced to he's going to crater. Sean goes down, Adam goes down, Jono goes down. So trade's coming out all over the place right now. Bomb in from Sarah, do a lot of damage with no frag. They've blue have taken a lot of presence here on this mid. Red, yeah, all of Red's game is a super low. Yeah, Red need to decide if they want to fight or not. Spade obviously wants to. The rest of his team has left him. Yeah. And to be honest, there was a there was an opportunity there for them to contest when the point was hardly capped. And even though they were low, I believe in the in the DM capabilities. So I'm gonna have an Uber trade. Beep's gonna go down. Spade's gonna walk out to find unknowable players, but they need, they need to leave with the tail end of the Zuba. Yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. JD's oh, on yeah. the flank though. Both sort of yeah, on the flank. Chasing. Essence is gonna go down here. And Beautiful. JD's probably gonna go down. Soldier yeah. coming over onto Miramu. Spade dying. Jono. Very close. He doesn't even drop a sweat against Raze there in that 1v1. He's gonna win it. Oh! Jono! He's gonna get a move. Oh, he almost got the right timing there, but Seraph looks behind him just in time. Yeah. And they're gonna roll through the last ship and potentially take a second round. They're gonna need to play really careful. There's a lot of spawns coming out. Like the heavy, <laughs> yeah. Take so they are pulling this back here. This is awesome. We have a game on that. I think, hand, uh, potentially. With the heavy there, like, I think Sean should have maybe just stayed soldier. He could have jumped the point, but. I told you, they were gonna come back. I told you. I told hey, you. I'm open to a third <laughs> map. It's not Asia Fortress, it's not at 12 a.m., so. Yeah, well. Anyway, uh, coming in mid, looks like Decap taking some pretty solid ground. Uh, Spade jumping up, not really achieving much. JD coming straight over, going really low, getting a lot of damage off. Jono sort of went in, he died there. Sean did about the same, sort of going forward and then ending up eating a lot of damage. Uh, Seraph taking out Beep with a bit of a uh, suicide bomb there. Uh oh, um, uh oh, Adam's onto Essence, he's gonna kill him. Yeah, and, uh, so this is looking really good. Get caught out. 
Oh, yeah. decap hit the wall. Hit the wall. Look, Spin's team is about to take another round, I promise you. They've got full ad, they're coming in from lower. I'm guessing they're going to double stick the demo in. No, they just sort of walked in standard. They oh, he's down to a spade bomb. But it's yeah. not going to be enough. I don't see them holding this. They need Actually, to focus this but heavy. But they still have two players out, like... Post Uber now, it's like it's just gonna be a DM rule right now. Spade's gonna Spade take really, really nice good positioning. positioning. Yeah. And oh, but, but Seraph's <laughs> Seraph allowed to just sneak in and sort of walk onto the point. That's while so else frustrating. Is busy. Oh, Question beautiful. Held out really well. They capitalized on the player disad. You know, regardless of an Uber disad, they capitalized on the player ad that they had. With Ray's going down and two players not being in the fight, they won the DM battle and then Seraph just sneaks in behind. So that's yeah. gonna be frustrating. But they're still so in the lead here. Sean's going really deep. He's going in the kitchen again, so I'm trying to figure. No, he's, he's trying to walk out here. But yeah. people are monitoring. Like, punished. Spin's, Spin's team is monitoring their players better now. Um, JD's gonna go in for a bomb on S and bring him down to not very low at all. Um, and looks like Red are gonna yeah. win a mid. They didn't really um, coordinate their rounds. bomb there, which sort of spelled disaster for them. Uh, they couldn't really do much after they lost two gamers. Really full um, bomb in here from Spade. Not going to get much, yeah, but Ray's going down really low. low. They're actually going to contest this. Yeah, totally. And this is beautiful. still has Uber, but mm. um, they don't get any frags. They're about to lose frags. Three, three down. Like they they had okay they had two players on last when they contested that that can't happen if you need to contest it's a team contest it's not a we'll yeah. just contest with the uber players like it's on not, top it's of not that, gonna I work. Think the target priority was a little bit messed up but oh yeah no nah, they couldn't really do much with the amount of games that they had question we've just got to walk in instead of three to five though six minutes left it is entirely possible that uh, spins team actually brings it back to an even score. Yeah, they've played a lot better in this second half. Really. Yeah, and they've been playing fast. Three rounds too, in like which five is minutes. Really good. Yeah, yeah. They're capitalizing a lot better of like positioning and Ubers and stuff, which is what was missing. But onto this next fight, Sean's about to jump. JD high bomb in onto their sword here. He's gonna get caught out from the spade most likely. Actually trades the spade. That's really nice. Jono straight up to killing here. Jono killing the scout and the demo. You know, Jono's making. Massive impact on these mids, just like walk forward without contestion, just killing play players left, right, and center. And red team are gonna surge forward here. Are they gonna pick off Raze as well? Raze was grinding, so he went down to like 5 HP, but he's gonna survive. Yeah. They were really they don't have to see second if they can get here, but yeah. they didn't manage. Well, which means to be fair, you know, the they're going for some sort of play here. They went into lobby. Sorry, I thought they were gonna try to contest when it was already three quarters cap. <laughs> To be fair, you know, it's five minutes, they just need to hold off like two rounds, so it's entirely possible they could just like park the bus right now. Yeah. JD's Look. gonna go in unsuccessfully, he's gonna die. They'll prob we'll probably see a counter sack. Yeah, Whoa, if I was team just wanna push in right here. here, I would probably try to solo in, but look, red team's come through on the left side, so just walking in, taking some really dominant ground. Mirror finally ending up using. Uh, they're getting a pretty good Uber here, actually. They've but flashed a look lot. Look at the soldiers, they're taking high. And yeah. Made, the bomb's coming in now. Ah, uh, that's even... unfortunate. Okay, yeah, so they were too busy fighting the soldiers. But, yeah. indirect, he took the attention away from the demo, off the point. That's yeah. Sort of like, players just went onto the point cap. So that was really nice initiative. Play. Yeah. Yeah, from Spade there. Like as a team, that was pretty beautiful. It's kind of exactly what you want out of the last push. Yeah, and it was they turned a bad situation, you know, moving the wrong side really early into the round. So really nice work from Questionable there to bring it back. S is going down to half HP. There's two scouts right next to him, but they're not looking the right way. And he's just gonna sneak back to Spade. And Mirabo goes down. Jono can do things again. Jono's a god. He just runs forward and frags the medic and a scout. I so, he's on fire. Seraph is trying to flank to even up the Ubers. And with only a couple of people, he's gonna straight up the essence and he gets, I don't know if it's a drop, but he got the medic regardless. Um, that's I mean, unfortunate. With three minutes left, this is not yeah. very good, but. Mm, I'm gonna I don't know, maybe. That's game, three rounds in three minutes. 
It's possible, yeah, but I don't think. Under under five. Five. Yeah. I don't think um, questionable will throw that hard. So. I mean, this I'm is only say, the upper page playoff, but. Yeah, I mean, it's not, yeah, obviously, but it's it's very convincing win here if questionable can take this because Spin's team did beat Nunges, the second seeded team at the start of the season. So to take them out in two maps, one of them being a 5-0, is a, is a big statement here coming into the mm -hmm. later half of playoff. That said, I mean, and I know this is really much the same for pretty much every team that's ever actually played Team Fortress, but when you start getting towards, like, you're losing a little bit, sort of like do or die, teams seem to play better, and they were really playing better right at the end there. Like, really playing better. Um, so if they can keep up that sort of like zealous need to frag, um, like in other matches coming up, then I'm sure they can end up back in the grand final. Oh yeah, no, there's no doubt about it. This isn't the end for spin. They can still take out Nunges or whoever wins the other game and yeah. and go into go into the grand finals to to uh, play against this questionable again, but. It's it's it is an important win for questionable to reassert their dominance as the top seeded team in IM after yeah. a couple shaky losses to teams you would expect them to beat. Um, so to beat the beat you know Spin's team here pretty convincingly is a big statement and is of a lot of importance. But looks like looks I'm gonna say it's gonna end up in a six three on this second map. I don't think there'll be another round taken unless something sneaky comes in. Yeah, I mean they tried for the second point here and they might have been able to go to last in this last minute. But they yeah. sort of ended up just dying because of really good bombs coming out of JD and Spade. Yeah. So... I don't see... Yeah, sh yeah. Um, Sean did a lot of work there. You know, just comes in and frags like two people at the end. But it's, it's just downtime right now. Um... Both teams will be trying to pad their stats as Raids gets an epic frag onto Essence here, but <laughs> Sean dropping straight down onto Miramu. Raze frags him, but not before he gets the medic. Beef's gonna get onto Raze, kill Raze. JD's gonna get down to beat and uh, decap. Spade's gonna come here and get like 50 billion damage off. Killing so low and sore. And Beep, probably. I guess kids will fight, there's no reason not to. Ooh. Beep looks like he might be thinking about going straight to last in this last 20 seconds, getting another round. Yeah, I mean, 1v4, not... Oh, he wins these, dude. He does. He wins this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, 10 seconds left, I think we're calling it 6-3 to questionable on Snakebot here. Yeah, so... And as it's going spy for the last 5 seconds. Oh, he's trying, he's trying, he's gone for it. <laughs> doesn't quite manage to get it, and that's going to be the game. Yeah. Two questionable, 5-0 on Gully, 6-3 on Snake Water. Much to my surprise, even though I did, I'm a I got a little bit of bias going towards questionable, so I did hope for, well not, I did uh, assume a win here, but I did expect a 2-1 uh, in maps. Yeah. Or at least not, not anywhere near a 5-0 in one of them, so... I mean, like I said, though, I thought that one would be closer. I did think that maybe the uh, Spins team would come out on top, but, you know, can't have everything. Um, we'll get the logs up real quick so we can run through them and see if we can do some interviews as well. So... Yeah, so we got a couple. Yeah, fuck off. Um, we got a couple gamers in the channel. <laughs> Just real quick, we'll uh, go through these logs. So, Killing actually coming out with the highest damage in the server on that one with a solid 422 DPM. Almost good enough to post in the 420 DPM group, but not quite. <laughs> um, Decap, Spade, and Beep coming through not far behind him. 349, 305, and 280, respectively. Um, yeah, Sean showing some pretty mediocre stats when you look at him, but he made a lot of impactful plays. Oh, yeah. 
these yeah. guns um, were really good in both maps, you know. Um, so just uh, proves the sets, you know, don't tell the whole story. You really need to pay attention yeah. to the game and whatnot. And we've got but, Jono coming through on top frags again, actually, uh, with 29. So much in both of those maps. Yeah, he's a really good guy. Damage taken-wise, killing again, taking a lot. I guess that, like we said, sort of goes towards his really aggressive style. gameplay. Yeah. yeah. But uh, not much else to talk about. Quick look at the heal stats. Yeah, around about the same as last map. Spade taking a bit less heals. Alright, so... so Unless you got anything to add, uh, we can uh, just start yeah. into some interviews, I guess. Yeah, let's get straight into them. we got beep as well. Uh, yeah, sweet. Uh, well, this is awkward. They're all uh, muted. muted. I don't know if I have the option them? to unmute. Right, I think I do. Hello. Hey gamers, hey on. Yeah, yeah so... I'm uh, gonna resist the urge to unmute Red Foo because I don't think he's part of it. Uh, yeah, that Mitchell might grouse be at me. Car, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> M- Mitchell, Mitchell grouse at me. I don't want to do that. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry, gamers, Carl. how do you feel? About, I feel uh... very proud of myself, to be honest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have felt. Really good that you won that and got a grand final. That's all I have to say. It's all the constructive criticism I have. You did well, Beep. Thanks, man. You did well, too. You suck, Beep. Oh. Oh, that's okay. right. Okay. Atten, you didn't even play. Oh, wait, no, you played second map, sorry. <laughs> Why would I be? I don't know, because you're existing. I don't know. So, uh, you guys got anything in specific? Do you want to talk about any, I don't know, points to make about uh, the other team's gameplay? Um, I think you, I think the downfall of your game came from getting tilted by spin and I'm um, killing DC yeah. and disconnecting. I think that like really put the final nail in the coffin. Like you had a good comeback on Snake Water, but it was like, you know, yeah, I was very. I was actually kind of scared when he started coming back on Zack Water. I was fearing, but yeah, <clears throat> yeah. You guys sort of seemed uh, like spin team. You guys sort of seemed like real disconnected with each other for like most of that. Was like there's some communication issues, or was it just not going Ooh. well for you? We got tilted because Spin muted himself in Mumble, mm. and then. We tried to get added in, and stuff happened. Are you actually cutting spin from the roster? I don't know. That's oh, do you think you can this late? You can, but you can't like add people. I think. All right. Yeah, I'm sure yeah, they can choose him. not to play with him. But I was about to say, uh, like, what was the main reason from getting tilted, or like? I have no idea. Like, we had a scrim earlier, and he muted himself as well. Maybe too busy watching anime. Like, Muted from the start, or like muted yeah. the game? Like before the scrim, like he was talking, and then he decided to mute himself and isn't talking for the whole time. Mm. Yeah. Oh well. You guys really did put up a good fight on uh, Snake Water there. I was really rooting for you. Thank you. Uh, so. Aside from the fact that beep sucks, which isn't even really a conversation point, it's just a fact. Uh, have you guys got anything to add? Or? Um, no, I apologize. <laughs> uh, I'm actually really looking forward to next week's game. You guys against whoever wins out of Nunges and Jack's team. That'll be mm. pretty interesting. Yeah, I hope to see you guys in the finals. Yeah, boy. Okay. Uh, we'll be back better than ever. Oh, you, you guys are good surgeon back in. Um, yeah. Where was he? he yeah, he's, was wor- he's actually big boy surgeon. He's working tonight, so we got um oh, got uh. decap to play demo, and decap pounded like he's a freak. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else well. him. All right. Uh, well, yeah. I reckon uh, 
If that'll do it, we can go to some shout outs for you. Oh, yes, can I go first? No, we go alphabetical. Fuck. Wait, you fucking turn. Whoa, language, come on. Right, we're live. Yeah, family chat. I've done this like four or five times. Beep's not used to being, not being first in alphabetically. <laughs> I should write a, 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 a beep. So, okay, Hatton, what have you got for me? Shout some shit out. Um, you want me to shout it? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do shout it though. Shout out to Spin. <laughs> Yes, that's it. it. Okay. Shout right, out to, go ahead, mate. Shout out to King Carl, also known as Red Foo. That's it. Oh, shout out to Harvey. Hashtag free Carl. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Uh, Heaps, what you got? Uh, I was shout out to Snazzy, yeah. you, Snazzy, for the great cast. Shout out to both of the teams for an interesting game. And uh, good luck in both of your team's matches. And you're right. Shout out to Spin, best scout in Australia, and shout out to Ivan for being our big daddy, and shout out to my team. Alright, well as far as I go, I mean, there's a lot of things I could shout out out there in the world, I just want to just hit a couple really choice ones though, shout out to the meat grinder, not Beep Jeep, not Warner Bull. Uh, shout out to Warnable as well, and shout out to Mitch for texting me at like four in the afternoon again. Same so, way. yeah, and uh, I don't know if Thermite can even be heard on the stream, but if you want to have a go, okay. go for it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so shout out to um, my team and you guys for playing an awesome match, and thanks to Heaps and Snazzy for casting. Yeah, yeah by the way, shout out to Thermite for actually Yeah, thanks to Thermite for producing the hard job Thermite Yeah Alright, well with that I reckon we can uh, cut the stream off Look forward to seeing all of you lovely viewers again some other time on Capping TV Same uh, Yeah Have a good one Thanks man See you later Bye bye See you later dude <laughs>